quick lazy UV wrapping tutorial for Blender to Roblox Mesh. For my example, I'll be using a simple tie that I modeled. First things first, you want to make sure you have a palette. For example, your palette will need to have the patterns and colors you'll be using. Here is the one I'll use. It has a few patterns and colors I might want to use. Your palette can really look like anything and have any type of layout. It may even just need to be one image of a single pattern. But what I am trying to say is that there is really no guideline to your palettes. Now that you have your palette, or texture image here is what you'll need to do. Click on the mesh you're coloring, then open the material tab. Click the new button and the yellow dot by base color. Find image texture and select it. Now at the top, click UV editing. You might have to click the plus icon if it's not already at the top. Click the open button and select your palette. Go into edit mode. You can use the tab button to quickly swap to it if you don't know how. Make sure sync is on. It's the double arrow button in the top left. Press the get to select all. I suggest using faces. Your mesh may already be nasty wrapped. I messed with mine previously so it currently looks like this. If yours is messy and confusing looking like this, then here are some things you can do to make it just a bit better. In edit mode, select all your mesh and at the top find UV. You may need to scroll to find it. Click unwrap and see if that makes things neater for you. If not, don't worry there are a few more things we can do. Go back to UV and try out these options. Go through them until you're happy. But if you are still struggling just do this. It might work depending on your mesh. Go to the front view of your mesh. Use the Y or X axis. Select it and click on UV again. Then project from view. You should get a perfect to D layout of your mesh. If you are doing many colors you can select the faces of the mesh and use the G key to move it on your palette to change the color. But if you're like me and just want one color or pattern, just select it all using the a key or drag to highlight and simply move the 2D layout over the palette to color it. If your mesh doesn't seem to be coloring, make sure you're in the rendering tab, though I'm not sure what it's actually called. If you're finished coloring, export your mesh by going to the file tab in the top left. If this is for Roblox, export it as wavefront.obj. Make sure you save it somewhere you can find it, like the downloads folder. In Roblox Studio, go to your workspace and click the plus icon, then find mesh part. It needs to be a mesh part. I better not hear. Now in properties go to mesh id and click the fold icon. Import what you just made. It might ask you this question. It doesn't really matter what you say unless you're importing something with many parts that need manually pieced together. Yay, you did it. Feel free to ask questions in here comments. 